I can manage, but I've got to lift it somehow. Oh, I'm on the other side. There's a crack in the door, but it's not wide enough for my fingers. Just a bit further. Somebody's up there. I can hear a melody. Just old junk. Nothing happened. It's just a piece of old junk. Are these blood spots? I'm sure they'd interest the detective. Is it blood? Shit. I will find out, sir. Where did it come from? I think it came from the cellar, sir. Go and take a look around in there. Damn, somebody's coming. There's nobody here, sir. I can see you. Maybe it was just a rat. Go and have a look downstairs. I want certainty. Mm. As you wish, sir. Not a soul in there, sir. You don't have to worry. But I do worry. So open this thing. I want to be sure our friend is all right. Good. That's enough. Let it be and follow me. Light the fire and bring me some brandy. I am true to the bone. Hmm. That was him, the Knight Rider. This may be important. I have to find out what's going on. Just a minute. If I haven't misheard, then there should be another room somewhere. What did they say about a friend? Well, something occurred to me. Isn't the rope lower now? I thought it was the door next to the... Incredible. How come I didn't notice the cover before? I thought it was this thing here. I still believe there's something important in there. I don't necessarily have to do all the work. The detective might put his shoulder to the wheel. I doubt it. God, what a smell. How could anybody bear it? If they gave him that to drink, then it's no surprise he's dead. This isn't for me. What kind of a beast would kill a man like this? It looks awful, just like every other corpse I've ever seen. Strange. They left his ring here. He doesn't need it now anyway. They're coming back. Damn. I don't want to go there. What are you doing? Where are you going? Something's wrong, sir. 
The door to the sewer was open, but I'm sure I closed it yesterday. You idiot! Don't you understand I cannot take risks like this? Go down immediately! Take this for the rats! If they find me, it's over. Where can I hide round here? Right, before I do any of this, I've got a feeling this will be a quick thing, so let me just... I don't... It's too late. They're here. Can you tell me who left the cover open? It wasn't me. Someone is inside. So stop idling around and get inside, you dipwit! Maybe you should go back upstairs. Nonsense! I want to see the intruder, and you will kill him when I tell you. I'm trapped. This is the end. If somebody was here, he's gone, you know. Are you sure? What about the cooling chamber? It's locked, sir. Even an idiot can shut himself inside willingly. Stop being so insolent and think! Who was it? I have no idea. Everybody involved is dead as you command it. Still, the journalist and the detective remain. Are you sure it was one of them who disturbed you back there in the theater? It couldn't be anybody else, sir. But don't worry. I destroyed all connections leading to you. You forgot about the tailor's account book. If I didn't find it, nobody else will. What will we do with those two rugs? Will I take care of them? No. Detective Briscoll is completely harmless after the complete drama you laid on for him. And the police will take care of the journalist. They'll suspect him of the grave digger's murder. Everything has turned out just as we wanted. Yet somebody was here. Yes, you're right. But we are finished here anyway. Take another look around and then you can start packing our suitcases. Just one more question. What are we going to do with our guest? Oh yes. We cannot leave him here. If they found him, all our work would be for nothing. I can bury him on Gallows Hill. Nobody will ever look for him there. Delightful idea. So take care of him as well. But first, our suitcases. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it there. And come back to it a bit. Okay, I'm back. I just have to pause briefly for about four milliseconds while I go and stew my tea or brew my tea whatever it's called right so I'm here let me get my mouse there it is all right I can't get it it's stuck in the ice breathe on it I don't know how but it's producing a coolant should I turn it off I don't want to touch it it might blow up by accident and I could give it all up If I tried to reach out for it, the coolant would turn my arms into icicles. I'm not going to risk losing my arms. I need them for stealing. <laughs> if they find me, I'll have the chance to experience how sharp it is. Well, I don't think so, isn't it? Embedded in that. Yeah. I see it's working. But it's not good for, you know, seeing how sharp it is. It's covered with a layer of ice. I'm not sure whether I can pick it up. It won't move. Warm urine might melt the ice. But nature's not calling me right now. 
Oh, I've still got my rope, my iron spearhead, and the bling. Oh, because I nicked off that dude, didn't I? I'd be lying if I said I knew what these are for. I don't need flowers. How do you know they're flowers? These seeds must be from some really precious plants if they have to be stored in salt. I don't care about these seeds as much as about the salt. Use that to melt the ice. I threw all the filth away. Only the salt remained. I never did look at that ring. Let me look at that ring. Some rogue got ahead of me and removed the stone from it. Pity. It would be ten times more valuable. So am I thinking then that's the only thing for me to click on? Oh, there's something up there, what's that? It's stuck deep in the frozen meat. I'd need dynamite for that. Oh, right, so that's what I need then. I won't get it out just like that. I must think up something else. I'm going to assume I use this salt on the drain filter, because it will dissolve the ice. Districts. Sidewalks are salted so the ground doesn't freeze. Hmm. Maybe it could work here as well. Nice oh, sauce. My invisible pocket. It could be useful only for breaking somebody's head. Right, one second. So we've got the drainage cover. So can we... I can't go out that way. Um, can we use it on there? It's the famous use everything on everything. You never know it might work. Oh, look at that. I hope nobody heard me. I can try it with my sleeve. No, it shouldn't be a problem. Now I could manage to take it down. Cool, let's get it. Let's use that on it for some reason. This wasn't smart. I can't pull it out now. Oh, for fuck's sake. It won't move. Oh. What's the point in that? Oh. I'll try to salt it. Maybe it'll ease off. Oh, that was close, but I did it. I almost gave up hope it would work. I thought it was going to make the food. I'm starving. It's, it's very dull, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to assume I have to attach that to that. I hope I tied it tightly. I almost can't feel my fingers. It's a primitive tool, but I can't think of anything better now. Uh, does that go on it? No. How about this? No. Okay, well I don't know what I'm doing it for. What am I doing? Oh, 
What am I doing it on this thing? Hang on, what am I clicking on? I've got the door and that's it. Right, hang on, let's just see if I can use the door. I've never even tested it. It must be possible to open it somehow. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the last try. I can't feel my fingers. Seen in film so many times. Yeah, just like that. Great. The rope saved me. I'll keep it for a while. But I won't need the hook anymore. Where have I got the rope? Right, is there anything in here before I go wandering off upstairs? The dead body. I'll have another scour on that. I don't want to end up. No, oh, no. Okay, let's go upstairs. My God, if I survive this, I promise I'll never steal again. God, what should I do now? He's following me. In the freaking boat. Let me just save this. I've got a feeling it's one of those things. Oh, okay. I was just thinking of some sort of trap, you know, so he can get it's stuck. my only chance. But there's nothing there now. Okay, it's board boat. Somebody must have untied the rope. We I'm getting out. Have to untie the rope. God, what should I do now? He's following me. What happened to the rope? It's my only chance. Let's hide here. See if this works again. He has to go forward, I'm assuming. Oh yes, that's right. The Night Rider. Oh good. I killed Brian's murderer. Well, that's pretty quick at killing somebody. He's really dead. I'm not such a fool. Maybe he's just pretending and waiting for me to stoop down. Shall we test it out with this spear? Huh. How about this ring? Or this salt? Nobody can make me go back there. Oh, okay then. I'm taking it, we go here. Let's go. I'll return to the church. I hope the detective keeps his word. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was thinking of many things on my way back. Uh -huh. The poison Jack injected Brian and me with came from Lord Gismond and his servant's lab. It was supposed to arrange a cruel death for us. A mad servant of a mad master. Pity he died so quickly. But the old man's turn will come soon as well. The detective will take care of it. And I'll finally have time to take care of Emily. Oh, why? You sent me into the lion's den, detective. So you found him? I think so. It was even worse than in your jail. That was a risk I was willing to take. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't. If I'd known the Knight Rider was going to attack me with a pistol in his hand, I'd never have stepped onto the boat. 
The Night Rider? I'm telling you, I stuck my nose into a wasp's nest and I almost lost it. Luckily, I have the experience to take care of a murderer. Am I to believe that you killed the Night Rider? Neither Adieu nor Jack nor his dog's body managed it, and they were real killers, Mr. Moore. Stop pulling my leg. I wasn't just fooling around in the canal. I was there. But why should I tell you about it? Send a patrol there, you'll see. I just hope you're not trying to trick me, Mr. Moore. You could regret it. Now let me think. But don't go anywhere. I want you to stay within my sight. <laughs> well, thanks for trusting me. I don't know what he wants from me. If I'd known he'd horse about like that, I'd have brought him the Knight Rider's head on a silver tray. I should have cut off the Knight Rider's head and brought it to him. Hopefully that would have opened his eyes. You don't trust me, do you? After all I've done for you, you still don't trust me. It's nothing personal. I don't have experience in cooperating under such circumstances. That is why I have to think through every single step in order to avoid mistakes. And that's why it's on trial. I'd say that you don't know what to do right now. Maybe this will help. I took it from some poor devil who had been left to die of hunger. What? This is impossible. I know this way. You are a genius, Moore. Do you realize who you found? Sir William himself. And you are telling me this now? Hold on. How was I supposed to know the name of a corpse in a cell? So he is dead. Well, we know how to deal with that. I'll take it to the prosecutor and bring assistance. A diamond I found in the tomb is hidden in my vault. It wasn't a diamond, it was a It video. definitely fits the way and will be indisputable proof that I'm right. Diamonds aren't made. I never really believed you would manage. But you did it. So what happens now? Hide somewhere, at least until tomorrow evening. I'm sure that Father will carry you. It's not necessary. I'll wait in the laundry near the dock. I have an acquaintance there. All right. We'll meet tomorrow evening. If everything goes as it should, Lord Gisbert will be in prison by then. And I will have the tickets for you. Be careful with that bastard. And, by the way, I didn't lie about the Knight Rider. You can find him in the canal with a broken skull. At least you don't have to worry about him anymore. I didn't hear this. I said. <laughs> Finally, it's over. I can't believe it was so easy. Several hours later, I was lying by the fireplace in the laundry, thinking of that poor man in chains. I'd never have guessed it was Sir William himself. He really didn't look like a beast. His face was pale and distorted, that's true. But I thought that's how all the dead looked. The horror makes my flesh creep. What time is it? The detective should already be here. Why am I suddenly so nervous? Oh, at last, knocking on the door. The agreed signal. Be arrested now, so stupid. I'm going out. I hope you have good news for me. How did it go? Lord Gismond is dead. He found out we're after him and he killed himself. Bastard. I wanted to see him hang. The worst thing is he avoided the trial. The whole incident will be silently put aside and <coughs> everything will go on as it did before. Like it does. Maybe it's better this way. The chain of murders had no end. Do you know why he did it? I can only guess. Oh, hello. Sir William and Lord Gismond had an almost identical abnormality. It seems they both suffered from the same rare disease that causes heightened sensitivity to light and deformed teeth. But that's hardly the reason why they kidnapped him. Quite the contrary. 
We found his notes, and also the most remarkable collection of flowers and poisons. Most of them from the Orient, where Lord Gismond spent a great deal of time. That's true. The cooling chamber was full of things like that. What did he need them for? As far as I know, he was seeking medicine for his disease, but he was afraid the potions might kill him. He was probably looking for somebody on whom to experiment. I see. And that somebody would have to have the same disease. Yet Sir William was not his sole experimental subject. In the walled-up chamber we found other bodies, all of them, in an advanced state of decay. The walled-up door. I knew there was something odd about it. That unknown disease must be unique if he had to seek out nobility. When his last prisoner died, he had no other choice than to plan Sir William's kidnap. That was ingenious. He almost got away with it. No one would have known Sir William's coffin was empty. I still don't know how he managed to fake his death, but all the other murders must be related to that. The dirty work was the servant's job. His task was probably to get rid of all the witnesses. And he almost succeeded. But now, it's over. Not quite. We searched the cellar and found Sir William's body and plenty of other evidence. But the servant is missing. What? The Knight Rider is alive? Exactly. Or his body was flushed away through the canals. It would be best if you board the first ship. It leaves tonight before midnight. Here are your tickets. Detective, I still don't get it. The Knight Rider was a faithful servant to his master. If he survived, he definitely wouldn't leave Lord Gismond without protection. Perhaps he came too late. When he found out his master had poisoned himself, he fled. Poisoned? And what did he drink? Aren't you going to order an autopsy or something? No. The authorities would never allow it, so we will never find it out. Does it matter? He's not dead, is he? I don't know. Where is he now? His body was taken to a secret place and buried without a funeral. Funeral? That's it. The poison wasn't poison at all. Do you know what I mean? We have to get to him immediately. Have you gone mad, Moore? Every single policeman is looking for you. You're not listening to me. Lord Gismond is alive. He played the same trick on you as with Sir William. How did you find it out? You wouldn't believe me. But the Knight Rider will dig him up and everything will start again unless we intervene. Leave it to me. Board the ship and be careful. They have your description, so keep yourself hidden. As you wish, Detective. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Moore. I have a strange feeling this isn't our last meeting anyway. If it's possible, oh. I'd like to forget it all. Simply start a new life. Yeah, that would be great. Show me your identification papers, sir.
Everything will be okay. The detective will help me out of this. What's taken him so long? He should already be here. We have a message for you. You shouldn't have escaped from prison and killed policemen, you scum. the end okay um, I suppose it's a good ending but it's yeah yeah I don't know I don't know I mean is there, is there now a chance for alter ego 2 I don't know I ain't got a clue if there's a new one I haven't looked um, okay it was quite good uh, because it was done by the people who did Black Mirror, that's why it was quite long with the um, discussions and stuff like that. But that's good because it immerses you into the game. Um, there was a couple of times when I had no clue what I was doing. And then you had to do the famous old drag and drop and drop and drag and see if this worked with that. The only glitch I had was when I couldn't talk to that um, the printer, get the fourth question. Um, but then I looked on Steam and... People have had the same question as well, so luckily for me there was the answer on how to do it, so that was good. Um, oh yeah, I like the game. Um, I've got, got the box here, because obviously I, I used the DVD thing. And it said... Uh, oh, it says when evil has more than one face, you need more than one perspective. So I thought, because the, the image on the front is um, the detective and the Irish guy but they look basically identical face so I thought oh it's the same person you know like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde but no it's not <laughs> it's like, oh, okay um, but yeah it, it was good it was good I, I enjoyed the whole game um, hopefully you have a swell if you've watched it all um, but yeah do I recommend it yes I do uh, well I think you know I, 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 I kind of like these kind of games uh, people with their bottomless pockets that can hold everything, uh, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it was good. Anyway, hopefully if you enjoyed watching this uh, Let's Play of Alter Ego, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other Let's Plays, quite a lot of adventures. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment in the comment box below. Have you played this game? Did you like the ending or the entire game or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, okay, well thank you and goodbye.